culture's life uh, and it, it needs to be embedded in, in every day. Uh, and so to be able to uh, do what we do with, with this group of kids uh, is such an important part of um, our future because they are our, our future. I love the space we're growing up now. Like I, I watch my children growing up being so proud, like not being ashamed about saying they're Aboriginal and they won't be questioned about their Aboriginality. Like it's, it's sort of getting snuffed out of like, you know, that whole, you're not Aboriginal because you don't look it. It's like you're Aboriginal because you're proud. So the cultural activity project came about following discussions in a working group I'm involved with and we were discussing ways I suppose of supporting students at Northern Bay College to embrace their culture, to support I suppose attendance and a way of I suppose um, engaging with the students. We picked the grade three and four students to take part in it and it was a seven week cultural program which was funded and supported through our early help project. We talked about what age demographic would really benefit from these experiences and we talked about how the three fours they're at such an amazing age where they do love sharing all their knowledge and so it would be a great opportunity for them to connect with the younger year levels like our preps and our one twos out in the yard or um, any other opportunities that they get to share this knowledge. It's supporting the students to learn about their culture, um, to I suppose be proud of, of their culture, learning history of the Wadawurrung people and the Wadawurrung, Wadawurrung land and um, support engagement in school. Got to make a lot of friends that we haven't already knew. And it's fun learning about your culture so when you're older you'll be able to tell other kids or other people about your culture. We've had other kids coming in wanting to be part of the program because they've heard about it. Um, so it has become a really special place, I think. And it's allowing them to believe in themselves as, as young Aboriginal people growing up in, in a community here um, and being able to have strength in their, their identity. Culture is identity. So being able to uh, bring culture into the classroom, into the school, uh, to, to be a part of uh, what they what they do uh, is really important for their their own personal development for their own growth and I believe that all schools uh, should be should be doing this stuff it helps us understand more about the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture love learning about their culture it's something that they don't often get to do in the classroom or even at home it's not often shared so it's an amazing space for them to learn so much and then take that back to their own families and friends. So we're teaching um, young children to be proud and to live with, of their culture, which then they go home and share with their families like what they've learnt, which from families that have not probably connected to the community, whether they're from this community or from other communities and they've just come to um, like Geelong, it helps them watching their kids be proud that they they want to then embrace their culture as well. I'm hopeful that the um, experiences that the children are having and connecting with their culture are being taken home and uh, stimulating conversations with their family members. We try and do as much as we know at home, but when she brings home the information, gives us something to talk about with her. Um, and it, you know, it sort of encourages us to learn a little more along with it. Um, they come home with a lot of new, different Aboriginal words and teach me a lot of things. But they mostly get the, the friendships come home and I made friends with this one and we're both Aboriginal. That's the circle. Like, the more we're bringing up the proud, strong and deadly kids, it is, it's, it's helping their parents be proud in that culture as well. If they didn't have access to these programs now, it would be much harder for them when they're older to connect with these resources and these opportunities. I think it would help me with like being able to 
speak my language, maybe showing off sometime at a talent show or something like that. When I first come in, I was a bit shy because I only knew a couple people. But after that, I've learned more and more people. And now I'm comfortable to come in and I'm not shy anymore. I think if these students didn't have the same access to this program that they did this year, I feel like it would be such a disconnect from them. There's not as much learning that they get in their classroom with <clears throat> incorporating their First Nations culture. So I think this just gives them an amazing opportunity and they would definitely be disappointed if something like this didn't happen next year, I know it. What we've found is that, you know, the benefits for the students has been amazing. When I was younger, and we didn't have any of this, and I'm pretty proud of who I am. So watching these kids at their age, I can't wait to see them growing up and see how proud and deadly they're going to be of their culture. I think this has helped them understand the amazing culture that they have and that they've grown up from. So yeah, it's a great opportunity. Out of these classes, we get to have fun and still learn. We get to learn about like Aboriginal stuff and do fun activities.